If you spend that much money on a cycling computer, I think you've got a right to have expectations. Hey guys, if you follow me for some time, you probably know that, well, I really like cycling. And I might be too heavy and too old and probably not quick enough to join Tour de France, but it never stopped me from spending a lot of money on my bicycle and relevant upgrades. And the latest addition is Wahoo Element Roam Cycling Computer. I have a proper review coming up soon, but before that I really wanted to remove some of the frustrations that come with using one of these. And one of the cool features of Element series that, to be honest, convinced me to buy and that unit was that they support mobile notifications. But what I didn't read in a small font was that the support for notifications only is limited to a couple of things. And don't get me wrong, I fully understand that you want to turn off all the phone notifications and just enjoy the ride. However, it's probably a good idea to have a couple of them enabled, and while I appreciate calls and SMS messages, I would like to be in charge of what applications actually have access to this feature and what applications will notify me, because at the end of the day, I'm the user and I decide what's important to me. Frustrated with that, I came up with a workaround. It's not ideal, however, until Wahoo gets their shit together. Well, it's something that's gonna definitely work for me and it might work for you. For all other unsupported notifications, I simply pretend that they are text messages. These text messages are supported and all I have to do is just insert all the information about what kind of notification I want into the text message and send it to myself. Obviously this is where it comes to first limitation. If you are not on unlimited uh, text plan, then you might find yourself, uh, well, paying for this service and it's probably something you should pay attention. I'm on the unlimited plan, so it doesn't matter how many text messages I'm gonna send to myself. And I'm pleased to say it's actually looking quite good. Just take a look at the sample messages in here. That's probably everything I need, even though there are some problems with text alignment because, well, these messages on Wahoo don't have a new line and there's nothing I can do about it. To make it possible, I've used Tasker and Auto Notification. It's also only available for Android users, so if you're using uh, iPhones, sorry guys, you'll have to find your own solutions. In theory, quite simple. How it works is auto notification intercept the notification from selected by your apps and relays this notification as a text message sent to yourself. Now, once you receive that text message, obviously it's going to be automatically relayed to your Wahoo Element unit. That's it. The problematic bit was how to get that set up easily. I came up with a nice solution where a task will read out all the apps that you have installed on your phone and lets you select simply them on a list. Once you populated the list, it will ask you for your phone number so you could enter that and send the text messages to yourself and also will double check if your default Android app for handling um, text messages is messages. If you're using something else, you'll have to change that name to avoid looping. To make it less annoying, I've made it so it only works when the phone is connected to your Wahoo Element unit and obviously once you disconnect your phone from the device, then you won't receive those extra text messages each time you get a notification. You'll see three supported profiles that make sure it's only activated when it's supposed to. And that's Wahoo Helper, which basically enables and disables notification profile. There is a device boot, which makes sure if you run out of power mid profile, the device, it's not going to start notifying you unless it's gonna get reconnected to your device. And also Wahoo DND, which means it will actually respect do not disturb settings on your phone. So if you change your mind and set your phone to do not disturb, you'll stop receiving notifications automatically. The main task uses auto notification to intercept messages only issued by your apps. These don't have to be limited to direct messages. They can be notifications about liking on Instagram or Twitter if this is something you deem important during your rides. The main tasks really consist of three parts. However, the two complicated parts are, well, making sure that the text message is more or less aligned. 
First one will calculate how long is the app name and create enough space characters after the app name to fill in entire line and kind of works like a new line. The same goes for the second setup with which attempts to do it for the title of your notification. It will unfortunately fail with the very long titles, but well, I told you there are gonna be some limitations. And last is just a simple uh, task to send yourself a message. Just be advised that inside of that task you'll find custom number of spaces after each line, so if you have a slightly different unit that supports notifications, you may want to adjust this. And that is pretty much it. If you want to try it for yourself, in the description of this video you're going to find a link to the article with a little bit more information and a download link for the Tasker profile so you can import it yourself and start using straight away. I am slightly disappointed that something like this is so poorly implemented on a device this expensive. Bear in mind this unit costs around £300. Now, I do understand that a lot of you won't actually care about notifications while cycling, but if the feature is implemented properly, then you would be in charge of what notifications should bother you during your cycle. So, if you found this quite interesting, do let me know, and if it works for you, well, use the comment section below to uh, definitely share that information. As for now, guys, you know what to do. You know how it works, I'm not going to explain you all that, but I do appreciate all the likes, etc. But I would strongly recommend you to reach out on social media and keep in touch, that way you might feature on this unit when you post something or when you reply to one of my messages. So, thanks so much for watching, guys, and see you in the next video. Take care. Bye.